Six ray Zulus here, yep, cleared into class D airspace. What's the uh, destination? Are we really going over Winnipeg again? We're going right over Winnipeg. Wow. You will see the international just out your window. Go to Winnipeg. Go to Winnipeg. We're not stopping there this time. Departure, Sprint 510 with the Alpha 36, 2900, climbing 4000. Air Sprint 510, Winnipeg departure, identified, climbing level 230, turn left, correct, Alcove on course. Got around that pretty good. I did. I slalomed around that cloud. <laughs> Steinbeck traffic, Gulf X ray Zulu Sears on the roll 32, Steinbeck. In our last episode, we departed Thunder Bay, Ontario, on our journey back home. We flew over Kekebeck Falls and Lake of the Woods, then stopped in Steinbeck, Manitoba for some fuel and a bathroom break. As we join today's adventure, we are departing Steinbeck and pointing our nose towards Porcupine Plains, Saskatchewan. Our flight path will take us directly over the city of Winnipeg, as well as Lake Manitoba. We like to use our airplane to pay Valerie's mom surprise visits every now and then, and since it is a 9 hour drive from where we live, it seemed like a perfect opportunity to stop in for a couple days. Winnipeg Terminal, Gulf X-Ray Zulu Sierra, Cessna 182. Gulf X-Ray Zulu Sierra Terminal, clock it in, go ahead. Walking ident, X-ray Zulu Sierra. X-ray Zulu Sierra, you're identified, altimeter 3021, what's your request? I'm uh, just uh, going to be transitioning through the air on a VFR flight plan, I'm just airborne but, uh, from Steinbeck. Uh, what altitude are you looking for? Looking for 6500. X-ray Zulu Sierra, 6500 VFR approved. Three Zulu Sierra and my cleared into the Class C. X Ray Zulu Sierra, yep, cleared into Class C airspace. What's the uh, destination? Porcupine Plain. Okay. Well, well, we're gonna go over Winnipeg again. Go to Winnipeg. Go to Winnipeg. We're not stopping there this time. But. Are we really going over Winnipeg again? We're going right over Winnipeg. Wow. You will see the International just out your window. Okay. We're not going right over the International, but you'll, it'll, you'll see it. Okay. Yep. Oh man, we did a lot of stuff. We went to some beaches, we traveled and explored the, you know, the North Shore of Lake Superior. Um, and, uh, Took some amazing photos, some amazing sunsets. We uh, hung out at the marina park, Thunder Bay. We visited my childhood homes. And schools? Uh, yeah, schools. And bowling alleys? My one school is uh, a Woody's RV uh, world now. Right. So, don't know if that's related to the one in Alberta or not. We had a few ice cream cones. Yes, probably uh, a lot of ice cream cones. We stayed at the Prince. Prince Andrew. No. Charles. Arthur. Prince Arthur. Arthur. Prince Arthur Hotel and Suites. Waterfront Hotel. A hundred and eleven year ho old hotel. It was showing its age a bit. What a but, treat! But you know what? It felt felt kind of like home for a while there. It was, yeah. It was comfortable. There was a walkway across the many train tracks to right to the beach front, right to the waterfront. Yeah, to like the a marina. An overhead pedway kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. But it was uh, closed at the moment. Right. So we could, didn't really have a way to get over the track safely, so we just drove, which was fine. Yeah. 
uh, plus there was a fence. So, what was a couple of your favorite things? I thought that uh, Sleeping Giant Provincial Park was pretty nice. There's some beautiful lakes in there. Um, I just, you know, love the the rocky, kind of rugged scenery just driving around there. I was surprised at how not not freezing cold the water was. Especially at that beach where you could see uh, the island that people came to mine silver. It was, I think it was called Silver Inlet. Yes, Islet. Silver Islet. Islet, yeah. And we met a nice lady there who was isolating, so she was sitting like 12 feet away from her sister or friend, and she offered us, she said, would you like food or water or any drinks? There's nothing open here. She offered us a couple, she offered us a couple of times. Yes. Very kind. And she lived in an old house that said it was called Green Gables. Oh. And there was a really sandy beach right in front there. It was lovely. Yep. And actually hot on the feet. Yes. That's where the warmest water was that I found. We must not forget we went to Kekabeka Falls. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. Wow. Beautiful day, so beautiful that the sun was was um, shining down almost behind the falls. And so it was a little difficult to get the greatest pictures of the falls itself, but it was amazing. It was just so stretched out and beautiful. You couldn't actually get the whole falls in the picture. Yeah, that was, uh, that's quite the waterfall there. For 105, third visual runway 31, join final outside the beacon at 3500 or above. Visual touch 2-1, join final out of the beacon, uh, 2005. 1105, Winnipeg Tower, 1183 now, see you. 1107, Winnipeg, 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 what lake are we coming yeah, right towards? Uh, lake Manitoba. Okay. That's the second big lake. There's two giant lakes in Manitoba. One's Lake Manitoba and one's Lake Winnipeg. So, so are we flying right over it? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to fly right over it. Oh, oh this cloud. Lake okay. Manitoba, is that where Gimli or Lactabani is? Lactabani is way over here. Okay. Over top of Lake, or beside Lake Winnipeg. Not beside him, to the east of Lake Winnipeg. Oh, it's gotten in my way. There you go. Got around that pretty good. I did. I slalomed around that cloud. Uh -huh. That should be... We should hit it at a pretty good time of day to go Yeah, to it's supposed to be 25 degrees and... Maybe I get her to cook up some eggs and potatoes for her famous potato salad. Oh, yeah. Grab some wieners and have a hot dog roast. Have a weenie roast at the lake for good time's sake. Yeah. Old time's sake. Winnipeg Terminal, Cessna 182, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierra. X Ray Zulu Sierra, go ahead. I'm just wondering if I could uh, pop up to 8500. X Ray Zulu Sierra, climb to 8500. After that, X Ray Zulu Sierra. As soon as I get under this cloud. Brandon and the Dolphin altimeters are both uh, 3025. 3025 X-ray Zulu Sierra. He wants you to zero, pick up with them instead now? Center, one, one, eight, zero. So the altimeter setting is the barometric pressure. 
So in order for my altimeter to be correct, I have to set it to the barometric pressure of wherever I'm flying. Okay. And as you fly, that changes. The barometric pressure just changes, so my altimeter would, would read wrong. Okay. So he gives me the altimeter setting for the closest airport, so that gives me a more accurate altitude on here. That's what that is. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice south shore. Here. Golf X-ray Zulu Sierra radar service is terminated. You can switch to the on route frequency, yeah. Switching to on route frequency, Golf X-ray Zulu Sierra. 267 traffic, Golf X-ray Zulu Sierra, Cessna 182, just a couple miles north of the south shore of Lake Manitoba at uh, 8,600 feet, and we are tracking to the northwest. 267 traffic, Golf X-ray Zulu Sierra. So when I'm going over a okay. big body of Sorry? water like yeah. this, you see the kind of the teal colored ring on there. Uh, that is my glide distance. So if the engine went out right now, that is how far it could glide. That green one? Yeah, yeah. The greenish one. Okay. Yeah. So when I go over a big body of water, I, I make sure that I keep close enough to the shore that I'm within that green ring, like right. there's land within that green ring. Right. So that uh, we wouldn't have to put it down in a drink if uh, the engine went out. So anyway, you know, that's, that's uh, called a glide advisor in fourth flight. And it just approximates how far you can glide. That's cool. Winnipeg Center, Cessna 182 Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra. Zulu Sierra, Winnipeg Center, uh, squawk cadet, go ahead. Walking cadet, X-ray Zulu Sierra. X-ray Zulu Sierra, you're identified, uh, Winnipeg Altair 3020, and uh, go ahead. Just wondering if I could uh, get flight follower. Uh, sure, X-ray Zulu Sierra, I'm showing you uh, 8,800 VFR, uh, no radar, observed traffic, and buzzing altitude changes. X-ray Zulu Sierra. X-ray Zulu Sierra, looks like the next uh, altimeter you'll need then is uh, Dolphin Altimeter 3025. 3025, X-ray Zulu Sierra. So, we're going to Porcupine Plain. We didn't decide this until yesterday. And, um, I'm going to get a hold of my mom last minute. Looks like a nice day there, so I texted her. I said, are you guys headed... I said, are you headed to the beach on this gorgeous day? And she it took a little while, but she goes, oh yes, I need to find my bikini. Uh -huh. Ha ha ha. That's what she put, ha ha. Just home from church. Well, why don't you ask her if it's all right if we just pop in for a bit? Well, I could, but I'm trying to think of something a little more... Creative? Like creative. Oh, okay. Go ahead, actually, Zulu Sierra. Just wondering, from what altitude are you showing? I am showing uh, 8,800 currently. Okay, Roger, thanks. I uh, just want to know what I can put into the system here. Showing 8,500 before then. Yeah, I just raised up a little bit uh, just for some cloud clearance, actually, Zulu Sierra. No problem, just wanted to double check. We texted the manager of the Porcupine airstrip to see if the gate to his farmyard where he lets us park was open. He said it was, and asked us to buzz him and his friends, who he was visiting up the road from the airport. He said he was about six miles to the north of the airport, just north of a small lake. We decided it would be fun to do, so we set out a course to go find him. Where are you guys? You're a joker. You have to stop for gas someplace. I said, we're above the clouds near Minnesota. Sometimes service is lost. She goes, you're too far up, the clouds are now under. Looks like a bit of cotton, eh? Did you cross into some great lakes? I said, Superior. Do you have clouds today, I said, or sunny? She goes, you're so funny, hey. Yeah, we gotta be in this old world of chaos. We have a mixture of today, it's 24. They have a mixture today of sun and cloud. She puts, when do you expect to be home? I said, I'll check my Google Maps when I get internet service back. We have been beach lake stopping hop in these past few days. I say, oh, I can't see anything. Hope instruments get me home. She goes, us home? Did you leave Tom behind? They put, ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm flying solo. 
What time should Mom be there? In 28 minutes. Okay. You check that side, see if our landing gear's down. <laughs> I said, are your legs shaved? Hello? Want to come to a beach with a couple beach bumps to the beach around 2.30? Descent. 33 nautical miles. Going to descend now. Approximate Atlant arrival time? 17 minutes overhead. Probably landing in about 19 minutes. Woohoo! Going to see my mama? Yeah. Going to see my mama? What? She just wrote, you're not kidding! <laughs> the town we're heading to, Porcupine Plain, is a town of 855 people located in northeastern Saskatchewan. The first settlers began to arrive in the Porcupine Plain area in the early 1920s after World War I. With the Canadian National Railroad being built in early 29 and the predominance of poplar trees in the area, the best means of income became forestry. As the settlement increased, Porcupine Plain became known as the Cordwood Capital. With shipments via rail to the south, Cordwood provided the sole economy for the birth and commencement of the village. As the trees were harvested, the economy slowly changed to farming and grain crops were produced. Today, Porcupine Plains' main industry is agriculture, producing high quality grain. The area is also known for being a big producer of honey. In 1967, Porcupine Plain achieved town status, where it remains today. While Porcupine Plain is famous for sports stars and TV personalities, I've always found the coolest thing to be the sign at the town's one and only four-way stop, denoting their Ukrainian heritage. So how low can you go? Pretty low, it's pretty flat. 500 feet. Give it Off a good go. Yeah. I see people's farms, I know. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. So this is the road to Somme. So Weeks is there, Somme is there. Porcupine North is there. Porcupine Plain? Porcupine's there, there. Yeah. and North is there. Yeah. So I need to find them. A big house by the lake. So there looks like there's three or four lakes. A Mennonite church, so probably closer to the to the road that's over there, but I'm not sure. It's got to be that one right there, behind those trees. The big house somewhere. Yeah, it's got to be like this one. No, no big house behind this lake. There is. No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's this one. Right it's here. this one there, here? There's the church, probably. Where's the church? Just just beside these trees. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see anybody. There's the church. Well, I can't see there's that. There's the house. I can't see it. Oh, there's... Is that the church? There's the church, and there's the house. Which one's the church, Tom? Over oh, there. they're out. they're outside there now. I see them. Yeah. Right outside the ch their house. See them? Yeah. Go down if you want to. Very nice, Tom. That was beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's see about landing this thing. Good job. Porcupine traffic, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierra is four to the north. We are inbound overhead arrival. Porcupine traffic, Gulf X Ray Zulu Sierra. I think that's the runway there, but I'm going to go check the windsock. Where's the runway? It's oh, the grass, yeah, okay. Trees, yeah. Windsock straight at us. Straight at us, okay. 
That's gonna be straight south, so I'm gonna say 1-8. Work fine traffic, Gulf X-ray Zulu Sierra is crossing overhead, one and gonna do a left downwind for 1-8. Porcupine traffic. There's a plane there. Yeah, that, that's been there. That's the one that was there. Hey, car mixtures rich, car peeps on, landing lights on, circuit breakers are in, primers in unlocked, engine instruments are in the green. Uh, okay, we'll slow this down. Three swipes trim and 10 degrees left, so 1,000, 1,002. We're comparing traffic, I'll fix Rizula Sears on a right, uh, left base for uh, 1 8 porcupine. Awesome. We're so pleased you joined us today. We head out for some beach time at Greenwater Lake shortly after landing and have a great couple days visiting Valerie's mom and her childhood home. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, we'd sure appreciate you subscribing to our channel. We'll see you next time.